All right, hey guys, I'm Rebel CCG back in a video with this room bringing guys a pearly deck profile. So pearly finally got released in Master Duel and I thought it was a good time to cover it. So let's get started. So I run two copies of Effect Baylor. It's just a hand trap of choice. You guys can change it up if you'd like. And just because we're going through the hand traps right now, I want to just include Max C, uh, Ash Blossom here. And then we have something like Nibiru, just a bunch of hand traps here. Of course, one copy of Imperm and that's just for the cross out. We're just running a bunch of the names. That's the good thing about the deck. It's that you're able to run a lot of out of engine things. I gotta make space for that. And now for the ratios of the monsters, we only have three copies of Pearly and three copies of Pearly Lee. I run three copies of Pearly and three copies of Pearly Lee. You just want to maximize the copies of the Pearly monsters. Uh, they're pretty powerful in their own respect. Pearly gives you the ability to actually summon out the Exceed monster by using the Quick Play spells in your hand. While Pearly Lee does this, the Quick Play spell has to be in the grave. Not only that, but Pearly is actually able to excavate cards, so that's a great way of just getting some more value out of it. While Pearly Lee here, when it's normal special summon, you can add a Pearly card from your deck to your hand. And with Pearly Lee here, we see that it's actually able to search out a Pearly card from your deck to your hand when it's normal or special summon. Then two copies of the Triple Tactic Talents, I think it's just a good choice in case your opponent tries to play during your turn. Uh, Pot of Prosperity, just in case you want to search out something a little weird, like maybe the Field Spell, or you didn't really draw into a specific card you wanted, then you just have the one copy here. Three copies of My Friend Pearly, so it's the continuous spell of the deck. So this card is pretty great because it essentially works as just being able to search out whatever Pearly card you want, as you're able to pay 500 life points and reveal three Pearly cards from your deck. So you can choose the same copies, that they don't have to be different from one, another, from one another. So since you're running three of pretty much everything, you can use this as a great way of just getting out whatever you want. And then if a face of Pearly Exceed monster you control leaves the field because of an opponent's card, you can add up to three Pearly Quick Play spells with different names from your graveyard to your hand. So a great way of just giving you, you're giving yourself some recyclability and uh, just a lot of value. Two copies of Called by the Grave just for hand traps. We can cross out Designator, same reason. And then three copies of Pearly Happy Memory. So Pearly Happy Memory is pretty good. Um, mainly the ones that we're going to be using here is uh, three copies of Pearly Sleeping Memory. And that's just because Sleeping Memory is going to give you crazy draws. But they're all pretty relevant in their own respect. Like Happy Memory here is actually able to give you multiple attacks. So that could be good if you're trying to finish. Um, most of the time though, you're going to be wanting, at least in the beginning of the combo, you're going to be wanting to use this in order to special summon out a Pearly monster from your deck. So that's just an effect you're going to find with all these Pearly cards here, but they all have their own effects. Uh, Pearly Pretty Memory here could be used as a form of removal by sending one other card you control to the grave, then target one card your opponent controls and attach it. Uh, three copies of Delicious Memory as well. This card is just going to give you uh, 300 attack boost for each material attached to it. And that can get pretty hefty because you're obviously attaching a lot of quick play spells. But Sleeping Memory here is going to be the main one where you're just going to be drawing a lot. And you're going to be able to stack this since you have three copies of it. So it's pretty easy to do that. Then th one copy of Per Leap. So Per Leap here is going to be your way of actually exceed uh, ranking up. And this is how you're going to get out something like Experly Noir, which is going to be the thing you're going to get out most of the time. But you can get out something like Happiness. Okay, guys, before I go to the extra deck, if you guys are enjoying the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get started. One copy of the Sylvan Princess Sprite. So this card, since you're running level 1 monsters, it's pretty easy to get out. And it gives you the ability to search... If you activate the top card of your deck, and if it's spell, you get to add it to your hand, so you get a free draw before you go into your Downward Magician. And of course, you still have enough material to go set up with the Zeus, so you can still do something like that. Then we have one copy of Lyralisk Assembled Nightingale. There's just another generic rank 1 here. It's going to be able to attack multiple times. It's going to be pretty relevant in case you want an easy way of going into Zeus. Two copies of Be Pearly Happiness. This card's able to, at the end of the battle phase, if it battled, it can search out a Pearly card for you. Not only that, but it's able to half the attack of one face of monster in the field. And of course, you're able to attach cards to it. The Quick Play spells to this card, as you're going to see with all the Pearly monsters, they're going to be able to attach the Quick Play spells. And uh, yeah, it's also able to... Uh, return one spell or trap card to your opponent controls so it can be relevant just for that as little weird things that aren't uh, uh, super powerful on their own but if you're in the right scenario it's gonna be pretty great beauty two copies of beauty this is just your imperm for the deck and uh could be pretty solid and annoying for your opponent to deal with so e pearly plump is one of the strong ones here because we don't have access to uh e pearly noir so you definitely want to be able to use plump to just add a bunch of the quick play spells so a great way of doing that is by adding sleepy memory and that's going to give you a bunch of draws and just give you a bunch of benefits of these e pearly cards by stacking them up with a bunch of cards uh one copy of downer magician because it's an exceed deck and you're going to be able to want to uh you're going to want to be able to go into zeus one copy of expertly happiness this card is pretty great because it's actually able to 
for just detaching one material is able to negate the effects of off-face of monsters your opponent currently controls. It's just that most of the time you're going to be summoning out Noir since it's just a better version. Like, it's not the better version, but it's just uh, different and better to set up, especially with something like Per Leap. And you're going to see once we get the new line of support with the X Pearly Noir, that we're, uh, with the E Pearly Noir, that we're going to gravitate more and more away from happiness here. But for now, one copy of happiness and two copies of Noir, because this is the boss monster of the deck, you're going to be able to stack it up with a bunch of material, get a lot of draws with something like Sleepy Memory, and then this card is essentially a Towers for the deck. And not only that, but you can attach two materials from this card, then target one card your opponent controls or in their grave and place it in the bottom of the deck. So it can be pretty annoying for your opponent to have to deal with this, as you're able to basically put a bunch of things away for them. And uh, it's just annoying for them to have to deal with, as you're able to do this multiple times. And it's a quick effect, but you just have to be careful when you do this, as you are going to be losing your invincibility, since you need to have five or more materials in order to do something like that. One copy of Zeus, because Exceed deck, you're going to want to be able to get something like that out. Then one copy of Rel Relinquished Anima. Uh, since you're able to get a level 1 monster out, I think it's worth just having a Link monster, and Anima is great for this. Being able to take one of your opponent's monsters is annoying. And of course, you can link it away into something like Azalea. So not only that, but we of course run just light and dark monsters in the deck. So besides the Exceed monsters, so you're able to get this Azalea out pretty quickly. And it's going to be a way of popping a card in the field. And since you're going to have a bunch of quick play spells in your grave, you're not going to have to worry about this being destroyed for the most part. And then if this card battles an opponent's monster, you can banish one spell for your from your grave and destroy that opponent's monster. So it's just a cool Link 2 to get out. But that's pretty much the deck profile for Pearlies. And I'm going to be bringing the combos as well. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.